Never have I ever. Um, I'll get stone here. Damn. Damn. It sucks. <laughs> I feel like we didn't really get much of anything there. I could go for a burst build with all these weapons. Or er, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for a burst build. Open prey. Hey, look. This person has no stamina. Or weapons. Sorry. We have no stamina. They have no weapons. We can do this. Oh, we almost died to no weapons. One dagger and we die. We should have gotten a banana or something. Um, is this better? Probably not. We're just gonna rock this. Spicy isn't terrible. Shield is probably the worst one. <laughs> spicy banana is the worst. I don't know. I haven't done it. I feel like spicy banana has more potential. It's like a banana excalibur build or something. Banana excalibur uh, unhealing. Boom. Spicy build complete. I feel like it's got more potential than uh the other. Worth? Nah. I got rather just do this. It's crazy knowing to fit the bananas in the star of the skill so you can buff them all. He's got a point. But I mean, how many bananas would you realistically need? Probably like three. You could you could probably fit like three bananas in there. All right, we can test it. Smithing for dummies. We're testing it. Okay, so you do get the stamina reduction. Which is very, very interesting. Eating this whetstone was really nice too. That's a hero long sword right there. I mean, a hero sword. So we're gonna rock Falcon Blade with a shit ton of shell totems. And that's pretty much it. Falcon Blade, a bunch of shell totems, brothers. Falcon Blade and a bunch of shell totems. All we want right now. I'm pretty sure. Right. I'm thinking. I think that's all we want. Did I get this healing herb? I'm thinking about getting this healing herb. I have to do a craft here, I think. And that way we can utilize the uh the other, you know, plus two damage and then the stamina usage. Cause you know, room kind of just can't do that. Unfortunately. But then this will be minus 20% stamina. This will be minus 20% stamina. We should be able to fit the third weapon in there at that point, right? Maybe not here. But. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, so that's 35% reduction in stamina usage. But we're getting double combo here. So probably do something like this. Or some iteration of this. Probably smart. Do this. No, because the shell totem needs to hit the wooden sword. But I also need the shell totem to like there's a world where this makes sense, right? Because what stones need to be like this. Shell totem needs to be inside of the relic case for the reduction of stamina, but shiny shell needs to be like here. Maybe there isn't a world. Yeah, there isn't. I mean, I can make it on one whetstone. I could do this. Wait a second. There is a world. Wait, wait. I just move you back by one. Does that make sense? That still gets affected. All of that still gets affected. Okay, never mind. There is a world. I guess I'll just make you faster. Slightly faster. Like that. And then this can go here. Yeah, okay, that works. I thought there wasn't a world. There is definitely a world. 
Definitely a world. I gotta go for Falcon Blade, right? Not a Hero Longsword. I mean, we could definitely go for a Hero Longsword. Like, this is the third one, so it's not. But I just go for a Falcon Blade. I don't want a Hero Longsword. I'm pretty sure. I just go for a Falcon Blade, right? I think. This is gonna be crazy. I have a feeling this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, I go for a Falcon Blade. Damn. I'm hesitant. Seeing that whetstone around, like three whetstones around four, excuse me? But no, I'm gonna I'm stick with the, uh, I'm gonna stick with this. See what happens here. Oh no. Oh yeah, we lose. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Okay, but we get our combinations. Oh crap. Uh, we'll probably have to do something like this. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. So that should be a lot of stamina reduction. I believe. So I should probably add this broom in now. Like, we'll be able to add this broom in. And just for safe measures, maybe we'll get this other banana. Just in case. We don't want to be... There's no such thing as being too safe, I guess. And since we have the shiny shell, we can do even more stamina reduction on these shell totems. I'm putting you right here. little weird but maybe it'll be okay and this is a little bit better making the hero sword a little bit faster only last thing I would probably change would be to put the stones on the side of this hero sword but anyways, um, this should be 20% plus the 30, so 50% less stamina usage. So both of the shell totems have 50% less stamina usage, and then the hero sword has 20% less stamina usage. Hey, no notion, what's up? So I guess at the end of this, we'll just see how much stamina usage uh, everything takes. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then a 0.4. And we haven't stamped out, and they have a shield. No stam out plus a shield. And our damage wise was 10 damage a second. And 8.3. Is that because of a uh, relic case? Because what? Oh, no, no, no it's because we have impairment. Yeah, I was like, what? All right, let's see stamina here. So obviously Broom used the most. Yep. So we use up, this is a 1.4 stamina a second is uh was our total used and we are gaining 0.3 a second just by default and then stamina regenerate to one a second by default so we're really out of 1.3 a second and we're using up a 1.4 that's pretty interesting pretty interesting all right we definitely need to probably just get some falcon bleed items here It's round six, and I have no gloves. Oil lamp is good though. So we're gonna need that for the Falcon Blade anyways. Honestly, Blueberry is good too. Get that later. Okay, first Falcon. I wouldn't mind getting more shiny shells either. And I'm pretty sure the Eurosaur is our best DPS. So we should probably try to figure out a way of putting this oil lamp on that item. If I change this, is there a world? There is not a world. Well, there we go. I can just move that right there. Okay, we'll do that instead. All 
Okay. Oh, you put a spicy banana bill on a Discord? Okay, bet. This guy's not no stamina usage. Wow. Are we stamming out or is that him? That's him. <laughs> of course that's him. Good game. Ooh, good. And we'll just go for space here, I think. But yeah, getting that is good because that's even more less stamina usage. No mana generation though. We should have gotten that blueberries when we had the chance. Realistically. We can use this. It's even less stamina usage for those guys. By a nice and juicy 15%. Double broom sucks for us though. Accuracy is gonna be very bad. Very, very bad accuracy, but we might be able to just out heal from the shell totems. 27 damage. Wow, because of oil lamp. Wait, how did you get so high in damage? Cause that's plus two. And we got nine empowerment. 11. How the hell did it get such high in damage? 20 damage a second? How? How many times it, uh, the, okay, so you activate it seven times. Okay. So that's plus seven damage. So that's seven plus the nine. That's 16. 17, 18? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. And you start with four. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Kind of hard to believe, though. But with a build like this, I'm pretty sure you just go Vampirus. Because we're going Falcon Blade. Ooh. We still need to get the Falcon Blade, though. Toad on sale. on sale I guess for the mana generation it's not bad is there any apart from egg reaper bag also were you talking to me <laughs> I feel like you weren't you're a big fan? Hey, Loco, what's up? You're always a big fan. You always come on my streams. You know, like, I'm a big fan. I appreciate it, though. Oh, snap. Ouch. 51 poison. Oh, he had garlic. He had smelly wall. Damn. Magic Staff is doing the most DPS now. I should probably just put oil lamp on that, then. Oh, we're broke. I kind of want to get this prim orb, but I also need this uh, blueberry. But I feel like I definitely need the prim orb. Um, I love these kind of builds. No intention of winning, just an intention to kill others. <laughs> How does that work? I don't intend on winning. I just want to kill you. <laughs> Damn. That sounds harsh. Alright, this should have better stamina generation. Ooh, close. Not stamina generation, but DPS. 18-5. I guess we just get mana mastery here. Nothing else matters. We just get mana mastery for the mana generation. Realistically. More wooden swords would be great for these shell totems. I don't think I need five shell totems though. Or like, not five shell totems, but I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I need five shell totems. I think we're fine with four. And then we just get this blood amulet for the, what you call it, and hope to find no gloves. That sucks. Probably just gonna move you down here, bro. And you... 
Oh, that's a good spot, actually. Unironically. A good spot. Besides the blueberries missing, but I can easily just, like, move this over here. Or, actually... Gotta be a better way of doing this somehow. I can't really move this because this is just a good spot in general. Unless I get rid of this fanny pack, right? And then do that. And it replaces this guy over here, maybe? reset everything. I'm resetting everything. I feel like there's a way to min-max this somehow. Alright, let's see here. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. Alright, I guess I could do this. <laughs> Probably not the smartest idea in the world, though. I think I'd rather just keep it like this. That's not bad. I forgot we can get Amplified Healing from uh, the Shell Totems, too. Forgot about that. Let's mad that, though like this um i really just want to put as many blueberry items inside of mana mastery to be honest but i also kind of want prismatic orb to have some mana items in it at the same time i think it's gonna work that way though oh, i forgot about these so yeah this has to be over here Ooh, we forgot about the last vamp item, but we need the vamp item to be inside of that star slot, too. Um, unless I move you to here instead. We have to do something like this. I don't know, maybe that's okay. We would be missing out on the min-maxing of the, like, the Gloves of Haste, because it's kind of just not going anywhere. Like, on two, you know, different items or whatever, but maybe that's fine. This is, what, two, four, six, eight percent faster, which is okay. Only other thing I could probably change is moving this somewhere else i think that's the best spot it could be in right now though lock the glove i mean yeah i mean <laughs> technically speaking this wouldn't combine right because it's trying to do this but you're right it's just safer just in case never know but i mean with this at least we're generating a femalna generation i think for the magic i think for the magic staff besides us losing this right now Come on, 45 damage. 40 damage. One hit. Ah, nice. I really need to get that Falcon Blade ASAP, though. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did I even get this Premium Orb? Probably. Oh. What do I want this mana orb to be? I 
can also bite his protective purse to try to like fit it somewhere it could work. Right? Round 11, no Falcon Blade. Kind of blows. <laughs> A lot, man. Doesn't have to be anywhere crazy. It just needs to be somewhere that can still activate. Like this wouldn't be horrible, I guess. I don't know. Probably would be over. Probably would be horrible. Put it wherever. I don't think it like matters too hard where it goes. You don't need to generate a crazy amount of mana. I'm gonna buy this just so I can put it somewhere more freely, I guess. Right, I'm just gonna put it here, like, here. I, I don't know. We'll just put it there. How much money am I getting? 13? Sure, we'll buy this Prismatic Orb next round. But that's probably gonna be the last one I buy. Ooh. Falcon and Blade. Sucks for us. Or not? We surprisingly deal a lot of damage. And a lot of healing on top of that. Tim! I don't want Tim. Don't want you, brother. I should have went with vampiric potions with this to fill up more diamond slots. I wonder if that would have been better. So dumb to run one weapon here. You talking about that dude? Maybe I can like hold up. Does this work? Okay, that works. Well, kinda. One of the shiny shells is an affecting. Well, yeah, one of the shiny shells is an effect in the Kale Totem. But that works to fit more star items inside of Mana Mastery, which is nice. I could just move this here, maybe? I think we're just gonna go with this though. Minus two damage on the staff? Wait, how? What do you mean? Oh, not as being slow. It's actually worse than it was. You think, okay, I'll reset again. I'll, I'll reset again. Cause I'm actually like a little bit lost as far as like how to even set this up in the first place. There's our unhealing staff though. That's kind of nice. Still no Falcon Blade, which sucks. I don't think we need this other Mana Orb either. I feel like with a Mana Orb and Mana Mastery, you generate way more than enough mana for this Magic Staff. So I'm not gonna get that. Another Oil Lamp. Anyways, let's go ahead and reset again. Okay, so. Don't reset again. I already did it. <laughs> I already did it. I already did it. I already did it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Trust, 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 trust. Maybe we need a different view. Let's let's get a different view here. Hey, Blaze, what's up? How's it going? Good night, everyone. <laughs> We're going to get a different view. Okay, this is going to work. 
We're just trying a different perspective. Hey, Jerome. How's it going? How you doing today? Slightly different perspective. Potentially. I think this needs to go up here. Location might change. <laughs> might change. Very possible. All right, let's see here. All right, we can keep that like this. That kind of just works. Unless we move it up again and then put this here. Possibly. Oil lamps are pretty good. Fast activators. Agreed. Big chillin' my man. Gonna lurk and play some games while I watch. Hell yeah. Sounds freaking awesome. Let me know if you win any. I wanna try this. Damn it, but the shell tomes need to be inside of the relic case too. Damn. It's not like I can put the shell totems all the way back here, right? Like that just wouldn't be smart, I don't think. I mean, maybe? Well, no, because smithing dude needs to be like here. No, that's still... Good work. We have all this free real estate over here, though. I mean, if that's the case, we might as well just move the entire deck over. Down by one. Not to mention we're missing a spot for a... Uh, well, no, that, that works, but we'll need to probably do it again because we're getting that oil lamp next round. Damn, this kind of... No. We only got two diamond slots available. I mean, gin lamps. Yeah, those are pretty solid, too. Just getting the proc, though. Use them for their full potential. I don't like how there's only two slots. Then again, I could move you up by one and get that slot available. Hmm. Oh, I could do this. Okay, that works. Might be on to something. Potentially. Don't know where to put this gloves of haste at all. I guess we'll just keep that on there for the mana gain. And this, that's not a bad spot. That's actually a good activator location. I don't know where to put you, bro. You're just, you're just gonna go anywhere, honestly, at this point. Man, still no gloves it is pretty crazy. Okay, um, a little bit better, I think. Actually, I really do hope. <laughs> Your build doesn't seem that crazy. But I think we're okay. Forty-eight damage per fifty-three. Forty-nine. Yeah, we're fine. Nice. And now we have the unhealing staff, which we can move somewhere else now. Kinda, because it's not getting affected by Nocturnal Locklifter anymore. I don't even think I get this oil lamp. I think unless we get this Falcon Blade, there's no point of us buying any more oil lamps in my opinion. Oh, that's so lame. So freaking lame. I guess we'll just get this uh, Blood Amulet then. I've seen like 10 of these whetstones, bro. 
could have had a hero longsword like so long ago. I wonder if this is better. And this. Yeah, I guess so for the amplified and healing. Okay, do we change the location of our staff of unhealing? Only reason I ask that is because relic case. It's nice to have it inside of relic case. I guess we're not well, no, because oil lamb needs to probably just touch this hero sword instead. Which I mean is an easy fix. We could just do this. I have to find a new location for you though. I guess that's fine. I guess this isn't horrible at the end of the day. But we definitely probably should just W key for our gloves next round, I think. Oh, double chili, and he has the time dilator. Man, you should be using that on both of your goobers, for real. Use that on both of your goobers, my friend. I think we're fine. We do a lot of healing. Nah, there's just gonna keep getting faster, though. Okay, we're fine. Well, somehow. Somehow, which. Somehow. I don't. You know what? No, I'm getting a falcon blade. I don't care. I'm getting this falcon blade. Bro. What do I do here? Because, <laughs> like, the game's not being fair right now. I'm contemplating getting this Hungry Blade, but it's not a crafted item and it's not going to get the benefit of the minus 20% stamina usage. I don't think we're getting the fucking blade, bro. Me either. How many rolls do I have to do to get a gloves? Those crown procs are going to hurt. Because he's definitely getting those crown procs. Ouch. Oh, we're fine. Somehow. Alright, give me this, uh... Bro, another whetstone. I've seen... Like, I kid you not, maybe six or seven of these. Besides the one that I've used to craft the hero sword. Absurd. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting! I don't even know what to do at this point. What's <laughs> up? Just cry. Oh, we're losing this one. Yeah, there's no way we win this one. No way! We win against the infinite vampirism. Blood. Blood gooby build. Finally. 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 Okay. And we also got this wet stone or oil lamp for next round. And everything. Now, how in the world are we going to get you to get a combination here? Without making our build bad. Reset. That's how we reset. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. I forgot. Nocturnal Locklifter doesn't affect Staff of Unhealing. The only thing it affects is this sword. Which can work in our favor. Possibly. Because we still do have triple shell totems, right? But we have to utilize them with the smithing of dummies. We gotta do something like this. Oh, that's an issue. It's not touching the staff. Unless I move it down here. Alright, that works. Yeah, they're all touching. Everything's looking good. That can go there for even more stamina. Uh, stamina, um, what you call it? Subtraction, whatever. 
All right, this is looking good. This is looking good. We can put one glove here. And we can move the deck down by one or by two. And put another glove right here. Oh, your limp's not going to be doing anything right now. <laughs> Maybe that's okay. I'm trying to figure out where I want these mana orbs to go. That's a that's a decent location. At least it's on a sword, unlike some other activators. Alright, and then we just uh, double prim orb. This is better. Also move this here. But why would I do that? I'm trying to see if it's possible for me to get the prismatic orbs and such these shell totems for the amplified healing that they give. And still get the benefit, right? But look at all those star slots over there we're missing out on. That's not good. I might as well just keep it like this then. I like this being over here. If I'm being completely honest. I don't. I feel like I kind of have no choice, though. It's an okay spot for Toad, I guess. And then I guess we'll just go boom, boom. And then that can go there. Can go there, or rather, that's probably better. This can go anywhere it wants, and then I guess the rest of the items going anywhere they want, they want as well. Getting a freaking falcon balloon around 17 is disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Are we winning? Losing? Oh, we might lose this. Oh, yeah, we're definitely losing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine, though. That's fine, though, because now we got falcon blade. Now we got falcon blade. The game has now changed. Now I just gotta figure out how to use it. Um. How in the world are we gonna use this? I wonder if it's better if I just did like that. Literally make all of those faster. If I do that, there's like. Wait, no, I could put you here. And that's the case, I can move the entire thing down. Well, then again, he's not getting the effect of the plus, uh, what you call it, speed up though. Unless. Is there unless? I did this. No, because then both of those aren't getting the speed up, so no. They all have to, like... Yeah. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Two getting the speed up. The reduction in stamina is good. Um, and then we'll just put a bunch of oil lamps on this falcon. Really just be like that. Honestly, stop it on healing. You don't really need the speed. Falcon Blade does. I guess we're just gonna put you here, like this.
Hey, this isn't looking bad though, I'm not gonna lie. Besides it's getting Falcon Blade extremely freaking late, which is annoying. This isn't looking bad. We got three bloody amulets as well. Oh, wait. Yeah, Mana Orb can go... Mana Orb can go here. As long as it's on the Falcon Blade, I feel like that's all that matters. I wonder if this is better for the Vampirism. Wait, these are in the wrong spot. There we go. Damn. There we go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep uh, this like this. Just for the use of the vampirism. I feel like it'll just be good. Oops. There we go. Okay. And maybe we get that last blueberry for the sake of having blueberries? This is such a weird setup, but it kind of works. I wouldn't mind having one more shell totem to put down here. That would be pretty nice. All right, sell pigs. A little bit of extra money for some rolls. Can I afford that? Nah, there's nothing I'm selling here except for bag space, I guess. But nine gold, probably five, six, seven. That's all I can sell. Well, no, because I could put you here, actually. Then I could sacrifice these three bags to get it. Put it in that diamond slot. That'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, that works for me, I guess. There we go. Well, there we go. All right, here's the build. Utilizing smithing for dummies for the uh, minus 20% stamina usage for the shell, well, pretty much everything. More specifically, the shell totems. Um, and then utilizing the impairment on the Falcon Blade. And then you also have Nocturnal Locklifter for the, you know, the healing with the Falcon Blade. And then you just have Sap Button Healing. So that all the healing that you're doing benefits, right? I think this is a pretty solid build. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. We're going to get someone that's... They got a decent build. King Goobert. Uh, Fancing Fencing Rapier. A maxed out snake. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty scary build. He's also got Cap. Cap scares me. Cap definitely scares me. 7 to 8 damage right off the bat. Oh, no, not yet. Wait, let's see what happens. All right, how much damage? No, nah, it's just 7 to 8. Okay, so 7 to 8 damage. It's not bad. 18 vampirism is nice, though, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. This will be interesting, especially since that crown goes away. We're lacking in stamina because of the freaking moon shield, though. And then the invulnerability. We can't hit anything, so we can't heal. We start hitting and healing. Bro, no. Damn, we didn't even get a chance. We didn't even get a freaking chance, man. Because of the uh the invulnerability.